number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. But a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should be. I do believe this is going to line up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? Going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Gone, 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 gone. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. From the gun, Jackson flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Dancing to his left. Caught left side to Crabtree. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. But it's caught by Crabtree. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning to get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. 